What's up, fellow fiends? My name is Ben, the Playlist Fiend, and welcome to my car. Today we're talking about the best songs to drive to. That perfect playlist for your commute, your road trip, or whenever you're just cruising. If this is your first time watching my videos, welcome. Here we discuss popular music and talk about the ideal songs for particular playlists. This time is special. I've actually made three playlists. Depending on why you're in your car and what your mood is, make sure you check out the full playlist, but here in the video we're just going to go over a few songs from each. Maybe they'll give you some ideas for your own playlist for music to drive to. And as always, if you like what you see, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Alright, let's shift this in gear. The first playlist is called Cruising. This one's perfect for a long road trip or just a drive around town, filled with upbeat, sing-along classics, easygoing tracks, ideal for a sunny day with the windows down. My first selection is Just What I Needed from The Cars. Up-tempo classic rock is always perfect for a road trip, and The Cars, well, it's in the name. They're called The Cars. It's no exception. Rick Ocasek and his 70s new wave band are a must-have for your playlist, and this is their signature song. But if you're feeling lazy or you forget to make a playlist, honestly, just throw on their self-titled debut album. It's perfect for your road trip. Next up, Florida Georgia Line with Cruise. Country music works great too for your playlist, whether it's new or old. Now, if you're a country music purist, you might scoff at the suggestion of putting Florida Georgia Line on the playlist, but it's fun. Leave the judgment at home, you're in a car with your friends, and don't even pretend like you don't know all the words. If you consider Florida Georgia Line or any of the new country a guilty pleasure, road trips are perfect for that. Florida Georgia Line fit right in, especially with their first big hit, Cruise. But honestly, most of their early hits do fine as well. Uh, I like Round Here, shout out to songwriter Rodney Clawson for that one. As well as Get Your Shine On, Anything Goes, and their collab with Luke Bryan, This Is How We Roll. Moving right along, up next we have Prince with Little Red Corvette. Now, I promise not all of these songs are car related, but I couldn't help with this one. How can you resist the purple one on your playlist? I also would recommend Raspberry Beret, 1999, When Doves Cry. Personally, I think Purple Rain's a little too slow tempo for a playlist for your car, but hey, you do you. Next on my featured list is Doo Wop, That Thing by Lauren Hill. This one's a fun mixture of hip hop, soul, and doo wop from one of the best lyricists in the genre, maybe, of all time. And if you want more Lauryn Hill, I also recommend upbeat tracks from her group, The Fugees, especially Killing Me Softly. And this final one's for the cool kids in the car who maybe weren't too pleased that you put Britney Spears on the playlist. Arctic Monkeys, Do I Wanna Know. That Billy Squire sounding drum intro and that opening guitar line, it just makes me think of the open road. So this was a no-brainer for me. This is by far the most popular track from this British band, but browse their catalog if this one doesn't immediately hit you. I'm sure you'll find something from them. All right, let's move on to our second playlist. This one's called Coasting. It's made for aimless, cloudy day driving, or what I prefer, night driving. This one's got low-key tracks to zone out to when you're in your car under the street lights or the moonlight. First up, Today Was a Good Day by Ice Cube. This is a laid back track recapping the events of a day that went perfect. Ice Cube is such a great storyteller. He describes a drama free, easygoing day in his native Compton. His mom wakes him up and cooks him breakfast just the way he likes it. He beats his friends in basketball and bones. No issues from police or carjackers and he caps it off with a hookup from a girl he used to know in high school. At the end of the song when he's driving back home in his car on the highway, you feel like you're in the car with him. It's perfect. My next selection for this playlist is Washed Out, Feel It All Around. This song is a staple of the chill wave genre, which was popular around 2009, 2010, real synth heavy, lo-fi, 80s influenced. You might recognize this song immediately if you're familiar with the TV show Portlandia. It's the theme song to that show. If you like what you hear on this one, other bands you can check out from the chill wave genre that I highly recommend for your playlist are Toro y Moi and Neon Indian. Next up, Erica Badu with her track On and On. This is a big 90s hit from this neo soul queen and fellow Texan. For me personally, the way she says the title over and over in the chorus, it makes me feel like I'm coasting in a vehicle late at night under city lights. Neo Soul in general is a great example of the type of sound that I went for in this playlist. And if you want more of that, I would check out D'Angelo, Raphael Sadiq, and Jill Scott. 
Okay, classic rock fans, I promise I won't leave you out on this playlist. The next track is Nights in White Satin by the Moody Blues. This band is well known for combining elements of rock and classical music. They pretty much started the whole art rock thing, and this is one of their best well-known songs. The song describes yearning, desperate, unrequited, long-distance love, and it'll make you feel some type of way. A more modern example of this feeling, Midnight City by M83. Band leader Anthony Gonzalez wrote this song late at night while he was overlooking the skyline of what was then his new home, Los Angeles. The key lyric in the song is, the city is my church. If you're on an empty street, under a traffic light, downtown, in your home city, it's the perfect soundtrack. It's a bit of a synth pop banger, maybe too upbeat for some, but I love it so much I had to include it. Anthony always goes for big, sweeping arrangements for his M83 project, very cinematic sounding music. Honestly, you should check out the whole M83 catalog for your coasting playlist. Lots of potential selections there. Finally, you know he had to do it, the third playlist, Speeding. This is for those times when maybe you're late to work or looking to live a little dangerously and you got your foot a little heavy on the pedal. Now, full disclaimer here guys i do not in any way condone speeding in your automobile always obey posted speed limit signs now having said that if theoretically you weren't going to follow my advice this playlist features some loud fast up-tempo songs that you should probably play at full volume and here to set the tone is my first selection judas priest breaking the law i mean it's right there in the title this one's from british steel one of the best heavy metal albums of all time that opening guitar riff is a classic legendary it's going to make you switch lanes with abandon at one point in the song you might hear a it was a guitar but they make it sound like a police siren sound effect it's going to make you a little paranoid just just giving you fair warning proceed with caution guys next up this one's a no-brainer for me nice guys finish last by green day honestly most green day songs from the 90s are perfect for this playlist I highly recommend Insomniac, the whole album, start to finish if you don't have time to make a playlist. I could have picked any song from these guys, but I actually picked Nice Guys Finish Last because, full confession, I got a speeding ticket listening to this song one time. It was a long time ago, but guys, listen, do as I say, not as I do. Okay, next up, Missy Elliott, Lose Control. For a while, Missy Elliott called herself Missy Misdemeanor Elliott, so obviously we have to include her here. This song is going to repeat to you over and over, music make you lose control. Music make you lose control. But just do me a favor and hold on to that steering wheel, guys. Ten and two. One thing is for sure, though, this song is designed to be played all the way up. It might make you want to dance. If that's the case, it's kind of hard to dance in a car, so just pull over to the shoulder and shake your groove thing. Up next, The Devil Went Down to Georgia by the Charlie Daniels Band. The high tempo fiddle playing here sounds like the most fun hayride on a country road pretty much ever. Not to mention it's one of the best storytelling songs in the history of country music. Basically, if you've never heard the song, the devil goes down to Georgia. He strikes a bet with a fiddle player named Johnny that he can play fiddle better than him. Some sick, high-tempo fiddle playing ensues. Massive pandemonium. I won't spoil the ending, but it gets pretty intense. And finally, for all you club goers out there, Icona Pops, I love it. This one was co-written by Charlie XCX. She's one of my favorite pop stars of the modern age. It's perfect for a night on the town, and duh, that includes on your way to the party in your car. I dare you not to scream along the lyrics to this. And if you're heading to the right club or the right party, you'll probably hear this one again before the night's over, if you're in good company. So those are a sampling of the playlists I made on Spotify for music to drive to. All the playlists are linked below in the description. Please check them out. Everyone seems to be in their car all the time in this modern age. And if you're like me, you've always got music on. So hopefully these suggestions inspire you to make your own collection of tracks for your next trip to the grocery store or wherever. Hey, hey, that's the video. Did you like it? Please hit this button. What songs did I miss? What songs don't fit? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've got a playlist, feel free to share the link to that as well. Please subscribe and ring the bell. Follow me on social media, enjoy the music, and as always, guys, until next time, keep the volume way up.